If we look back in time from modern life to the formation of Earth about four and a half billion years ago, our planet's environment and inhabitants have changed dramatically. Life has had a huge impact. Our oxygen-rich atmosphere, for example, is the result of life's biochemistry. However, if we roll the clock back to a much younger Earth, when the first forms of life originated, we would find a very different planet to the one we have today. Once the surface cooled and water could condense into oceans, the early Earth may have resembled our world from a distance. But geological data tells us that its surface was a violent place. With frequent volcanic activity, racked by electrical storms and UV radiation. Though hostile to life as we know it, this extreme environment provided the crucial scenarios for prebiotic chemical reactions to begin. The presence of a cocktail of molecules coming from processes like mineral leaching from the Earth's crust and meteorite impacts would have provided an inventory of chemical ingredients for the recipe of life. Experiments have shown that changing conditions like the day and night cycle and wetting and drying can drive simple chemicals to combine in a stepwise fashion into a series of more complex products. Many of these are the precursors of the same building blocks that we find in life today. Given enough time and in the right environment, these building blocks can join together into long strands, forming biomolecules like RNA, a chemical cousin of DNA. Strands of RNA can fold up into molecular machines called ribozymes, capable of speeding up the chemical reactions needed for life. A primordial soup would have formed from building blocks, RNA strands and other important ingredients like peptides and lipids, which we still find in modern life. Fatty bubbles composed of lipids would have trapped a range of different molecules, allowing them to work together, acquire new properties and functions, forming simple cell-like assemblies or protocells. Some of these sets of biomolecules would have been capable of making new building blocks, copying their components and allowing the protocells to grow and divide. The best protocells would have outcompeted their neighbours for scarce resources, adapting to new environments and spreading out across the early Earth. These successful protocells gave rise to the ancestors of all the diverse species we find on the Earth today. <laughs>